Thank you so very much. Okay, uh, let's get things rolling with Chris Bills. Go ahead, Chris. Sure, Freddie. Um, you know, you were waiting to come in um, when the goal went in. Um, just give me your your take of the, the situation there, and and know, um, you know, how quickly you felt like you maybe could have gone in. I, I mean, I'm I'm asking some questions to the ref about the protocols there, but I'm not sure if, if on the bench you guys were discussing that or not. Um, yeah, it was just I was ready to go, but I think you have to wait till the ball goes out of play to go in. So couldn't do much about it. Just unfortunate goal went in that time, and yeah, that's about it. Yeah, and then um, you know, just the the game plan toward the end there. You guys were obviously in 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 five. Um, I guess just what were you trying to do to sort of stave off some of that pressure that, that they were obviously on the front foot there at the end. Yeah, I think going in back three gives us ability to be organized defensively, but also at the end chasing the game, we got to we can be very aggressive in that formation as well with wing backs going high. So there's a balance of trying to come back and win the game and also being uh, organized defensively. Thank you, Chris. Uh, let's go with Michelle Sanchez, followed by Zach Smith. Go ahead, Michelle. Hi, Freddie. Um, it seems like um, first half things are going really great. And then second half, start to lose control of the game, start playing more defensively. Can you please tell me about today's talk with Coach Wolf in the locker room going into halftime? What was said? Um, I wasn't in the locker room during half, so I was warming up. I was getting ready for the second half, staying ready. So can't comment on that. Any, any conversation he had with you um, prior to coming into the game? Uh, what was the game plan for that? Um, we, we, I know that as a team for winning a game and whatever Josh thinks of going to the back three is uh, to keep us organized and what the game needs, we'll go into that, but um, nothing specifically. Thank you, Michelle. Zach Smith, followed by Mark Turner. Yeah, Freddie, uh, quite uh, a, a way to <laughs> make your debut and all that. Uh, what were the conversations like on the back line, on the field uh, when you came in? I mean, was there any panic uh, on the in the defense? Like what was what was the mood like kind of on the field when you first came on with the situation, everything that was going on? I, think, I don't think there's ever panic when anybody comes on or in any situation, but it's just find our composure stick to what we know, what we train every day, and uh, just find a way to win that way. So, unfortunately, we did it today, but we stick to how we play in every situation. Thank you. Go ahead, Mark, followed by Jorge hey, Turali. Thank you. Hey, Freddie. First and foremost, congratulations on making your debut. Thank you. Uh, obviously, you'd faced MLS opposition in the preseason, so this wasn't an entirely unfamiliar situation for you. But I'm just wondering, what was going through your head? Obviously, you stepped onto the field. The team had just conceded a goal, um, and it was a frantic few minutes. Then you got into a bit of a wrestling match with one of the Whitecaps uh, forwards leading to that free kick. I'm just wondering, what, what's going through your head in that first few minutes of your debut? Um, yeah, it's, it's awesome to make my debut, but honestly like thing going through my head is that the guys worked really hard before me and uh, put everything they had out on the field. So my goal is just to go out there and do the same thing and uh, play my game and just like hold the fort down with all the other guys who've worked hard and worked hard throughout the season. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Let's go with Jorge Turralde followed by Phil West. Uh, Freddy, while you watch the game, the first half, and then, uh, the second half, what do you think uh, it was so different on the team between the first half and the second half? Um, I think we played great for 60 minutes and just everybody put their heart out there and just didn't end up uh, falling for us. We had a lot of chances so we could have buried them early. That would have been a totally different game, but just ended up not falling our way. So it's just tough, tough result at the end. What is the feeling now is you debut, but not the way you probably expected. Uh, can you repeat that, please? Yeah, I mean, what is your feeling now that it's, it was your debut, but not not exactly the way you probably expected? No, it's 
I'm super excited to make my debut, but it's obviously not the result, but we just keep working and I can improve. So we just keep learning, learning from it and uh, I'll move on. And hopefully there's many more to come. But Go ahead, Phil. Um, yeah, congrats on your debut, first of all. Um, you got it kind of right up the road from where you played college. Um, just wanted to ask a little bit about just kind of the mindset going into the game. Because, I mean, obviously, 17 days ago, um, you played them and kind of same thing happened, right? So they get two goals. You know, Ryan Gold is a catalyst out there. Um, so what what kind of mindset did you have going into that particular, you know, match again? You know, kind of the chance to get revenge, as it were. Um, yeah, like first game we thought we had them and we played really well so we just stuck to the way we play and uh really got after them and i thought we did a great job most of the game and then fortunately at the end it didn't fall our way but we just want to go out there compete and uh let the ball dictate the play and show the way we, like the way we play is uh superior but just didn't work out at them thank you freddie thank you everyone Appreciate you being here. Have all a uh, good evening.